we know where we come from we know where we want to be at the end of the year so we want to be the best so if people won't put us at the best that is just something that we need to meet we need to meet that expectation Hello, Broken Blade. Uh, welcome to this interview. Thank you for your time. Uh, before talking about the, the years to come, uh, I just want to uh, go back a little on uh, your performance at World. Uh, I have a question about uh, what happened during uh, the Red Bull League. Uh, did uh, beating T1 during this event uh, gave you a little revenge for what happened during World or is it not? Um, I mean, uh, it, it was nice beating them. Uh... I think it was more of a relaxed kind of game. Uh, no one really took it way too serious. Uh, I think I think it was a nice experience. It was a very nice crowd, but uh, I, I think I think it was more for entertainment than than really beating someone or like. I don't think we feel very good beating them because they were also playing for the whole day. They were probably jet lagged, uh, tired, and we just came in, played one game, you know, and 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 won and got out. But it definitely f feels better than uh, if you would have lost, so... Of course. Yeah. So still better. Did it help you to cope maybe a little uh, with uh, World's counter performance? I mean, not really. I think uh, we we underperformed at the World, so we, we should have played better. We, we didn't. I mean, it still sucks a little bit, but uh, it, it, it just it happened. It's in the past. I, I can't be stuck uh, in the past, so I can't all my teammates. We have to keep on going. The, the reason why we're still the same team is because we want to do better than that. Um, so we stay together and uh, we're here to do it better this year. So now concerning the, the season, the year to come, uh, how does it feel to be stacked with the same five players uh, within G2? Uh, I mean, it's weird. I never stayed uh, in the same team for a whole year and, and uh, then it, it, it didn't change. Um, either I got changed or, or some of my teammates got changed. So this is the first year, so it's a different project uh, in my career. I never it's going to be very interesting to see how, how people uh, develop after already knowing each other for a whole year with being the same teammates. So um, I'm excited. I'm excited. So far it's looking good. Uh, I'm, I'm confident we're going to do good. So um, just excited on to see how things will develop in our team. Do you feel like you have an advantage uh, staying with the same players than uh, the, the other teams? I think we have an advantage when it comes to knowing how we behave and dealing with that. I don't think we have an advantage when it comes to gameplay because the game constantly changes. I mean, the meta is completely different now. The map is different. The items are different. So in terms of gameplay, I don't think we had an advantage. I think in terms of how to, you know, work with each other, we have an advantage for sure. But you still sound uh, pretty confident uh, regarding the year to come. Yeah, of course I'm confident. I believe we have the best players in, 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 in the league. So uh, obviously that makes me confident uh, in, in Europe. We want to do better than last year, uh, which is to win a spring split as well. Uh, we won every, every split other than spring split. And this is something that we, we want to change coming into next year, obviously. Um, and do better in international tournaments uh, but that requires for us to dominate in our region first so that is what we're going to look to do you were talking just before about the, all the changes uh, on the map the meta and everything what do you think about it i think it's fun i think uh, changes are good for the game it always creates new ways to to you know relearn the game and and, and find out what's good find out what's bad create counters, cheese picks, and just the way the game is played can be totally different, you know, from what we have seen last year. So I think it's always nice um, that uh, Riot Games is, is changing the game every year, either more or less, right? It, uh, this year it was quite a lot with the new items, Mythics getting removed, new terrain. Um, I mean, it's not always where the, the map just changes, right? We had the alcove last uh, where people were already like, oh, look at this, how cool, you can outplay people in Alcove. Uh, but now we have uh, so many new bushes, so many new walls. Uh, I'm safer on top side now because I got another wall. So it's definitely interesting. We saw you play uh, a lot of champions. Uh, is there, a, do you have a, um, a style uh, that you prefer to play uh, in competition like tank, carry? Yeah, I mean, I obviously prefer to play the carry style with a lot of resources. I used to be known for that. I think last year um, 
we 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 played in a way where I, I just played uh, what's what's best um, in, in in the situations. I think over the years I learned to be able to pick what is best for the team in the current moment. Um, and as a player, I think I want to be. Uh, I want to be able to pick tanks when I have to. I want to be able to pick carries when I have to, and also play well on those. So for me, it's just about finding the best pick at the right time. So that's the player I want to be. For the last few weeks, uh, um, we saw a lot of players uh, play some in-house uh, between each other, but we did not see any G2 players. Uh, at least we didn't see a lot of you. Um, is there a reason maybe because you guys are, I don't know, um, two good players to play with the others? We, we have been playing, um, I think, um, starting since last week we all have been playing quite a lot so before that we didn't play as much yeah that is true um because we we people are taking breaks and stuff like that we were back at home um but uh, we have been playing quite a lot actually for, for a week so getting some practice in there we also usually play as many g2 players as possible uh if we can so usually four or five people we play together yeah and then we sometimes just go to our own discord uh, and just talk there and stuff. You said before that uh, you think that you have the best players uh, of the LEC and uh, actually everyone kind of sees you as the uh, top one of the league. Uh, does it add extra uh, pressure on you? It does not add extra pressure. We know where we come from, we know where we want to be at the end of the year so we obviously want to, we want to be the best so if people want to put us at the best that is just something that we need to meet we need to meet that expectation if you want to make it for an international tournament so if if you want to be <coughs> if you just want to have a lucky shot at worlds we we will probably not aim for first place you know but we want that we want to have a shot at worlds we want to have a shot at msi so we want to do as good as possible and that is first place right uh, and for us to achieve that we also need to try it's not just oh we have good players we're gonna get first place just because we have good players and we keep the same players as last year and last year we won that means we're gonna win this year i mean it's not how it is right so we we still have to work we still have to do the same process that we did last year on how we got first place so many times in europe so we need to do that that whole process again to achieve it you know is there uh, any lec team that scares you there's no team that scares me there's teams that i think are good I think K-Corp is good, I think Fnatic is good, I think uh, Heretics can be good, I think there's some dark horses like SK, I think Rogue can be good. Uh, so I'm excited to play against all those teams and see how, how good they really are and how they perform under a lot of pressure. Last question, uh, next year uh, the Worlds are going to be uh, in Europe. Uh, what is your opinion uh, on this? And uh, is it uh, time to take uh, a revenge for you at home uh, against the LPL and the LCK? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely great to be playing in, in, in Berlin in the beginning, the, the very first, game, for a few, first few games. Um, it's definitely something that I'm looking forward to. We, this is our home soil, right? Uh, as, at least until we get into the semis. So it should be an advantage for us again. So I'm excited to, to take my revenge, yeah. And uh, beat, hopefully hopefully BL, BLG makes it. Because they took, out, took us out two times <laughs> last year in international tournaments. I want to beat them. I want to beat Bin. I want to I wanna play against them. I want to, I wanna, you know, beat them. Time for some revenge. Uh, thank you, BB, for this interview and good luck. Thank you very much.